Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for checking out this video and coming to my channel. And today's topic, we're going to discuss camera bags as a street photographer. Um, I use this guy and I'm going to talk about him. I'll have a link down below for this guy here. And I got him specifically for street photography. I have all sorts of your photographer and you've been a photographer for any length of time. I've got little bags and big bags and this is the one I use. I have one for weddings that I mean it was humongous and then I have my bag for real estate and I have other little bags and um, they never really seem to work um, what I needed for street photography and so I'm going to talk about what I use and what I think is important and normally when we talk about camera bags for street photography uh, we want something at least I do and most people do want something that's discreet that doesn't have like neon signs on it this is a camera bag this has camera equipment in it the person carrying this is a photographer and may take your picture i mean you just you have to be discreet so having a bag that says like canon on it or nikon probably not a good idea um, and what i got here actually i don't even think this is a camera bag a lot of people will get messenger bags and i think that's exactly what this is if i looked at the description because um, it, um, it definitely doesn't seem like a camera bag. So there are pros and cons, but I love the fact that it's, you know, that it's just very basic and it's got these clips in the front and it's basically just an opening in here. That, that's all it is. There's no dividers. It's not a normal camera bag. The downside is there's no padding on the bottom. So, you know, I, you can't just like clunk this down or whatever. You do have to be careful when, when you place it down if you have stuff in here. Um, but what I like about it is very basic. I can put both my Fujis in there, um, even an extra lens, but they are gonna, they're gonna bang around. You know, I'm sure I could put something on the bottom of this to, to give it more padding or whatever, but it's just a very basic kind of material camera bag and I, or messenger bag, and I do believe that it's waterproof. And it just has one, I have one zipper here inside, and this is the most important compartment for me because I just carry all sorts of, I have extra cards in here, I have extra battery for the X-Pro2, um, I've got an extra battery for the X-T4, um, an extra battery, two batteries if I decide to do a point of view video for um, my little chest mounted camera. And then it also has these two pockets in front that I really like. I actually put a camera strap in here, if in one of them if I need it, which I don't do very often. And then the other pocket actually i actually put my pocket portfolio in there and i just i did a video on this that has my you know some of my street photography work in there i have a filter in here just a couple nice little extra pockets that don't get in the way um, and it also has two side pockets that i don't use very often in fact i don't think i have anything in there i used to put but these side pockets i used to put um, my lens hood in there just you know for my, for my 16 to 80 just in case i needed it I rarely use it, but if it was raining or snowing out, uh, if you know, I, I love to shoot in bad weather, so I'd have that in there. So it's just very simple, and I just use the, doesn't have a handle, I just use the, the, um, the shoulder strap here, and I actually will strap it around like the long way, so it crosses my body, so I can get to my um, camera equipment on, on either side. So that's what I use. It's just, it's very discreet. You can get these in a lot of different colors and the price is really very, I mean, the thing that I would definitely look for, for me as someone who loves bad weather, waterproof. I mean, I've taken that thing out in the snow and when it's been raining and as long as everything's all covered up, it's waterproof, it's great, it protects everything in there. Um, so that's really important for me as someone who likes to shoot in bad weather. So that's really the only, you know, I'm looking at, is it waterproof? Um, does it look more just like someone's gonna carry a, a laptop or like some books in there or whatever? It's not really big. You know, I didn't want something huge and taking up a lot of room because that draws attention to you too. The color matters to me. Um, and a lot of these are a lot of different colors. I always like some sort of tan or beige or um, coffee color it's called. Um, and so that's what I go for. And sometimes I don't even, there'll be times I don't even use my camera bag. Sometimes I'll just go out on the street and I literally have my camera with my wrist strap and I'll just take my X-T4 or my X-Pro2 with a 16 to 80 and that's it. I don't even need the camera bag. Now the only, 
thing I have to be careful of, especially if I have my X-Pro2, is that the battery, I have to make sure the battery is, is pretty charged up because that's one thing the camera bag has, is it has extra batteries. And if I just go out and shoot, and I didn't even bring the camera bag, it's still in my office, it's still at home, then I got problems. If it's in my truck, I can at least go back. But, um, so, whatever you're using, camera bag, messenger bag, you're out on the streets, be discreet, don't have it be very large. Um, you know, something that doesn't even have any logos or any, or any writing on it that says like Canon or Nikon or Fuji or whatever. Um, I've known some people who have even like covered that up with tape or have removed it or whatever. So that just looked very neutral and very basic. So, um, you know, a camera bag is important to have, you know, if you're going to go out, especially in a new city or somewhere you haven't been before and you're not sure what you're going to need. You're going to have two camera bodies or you just have one camera body with a couple lenses. It is important to have a good one, but just be careful what you get. And the, the prices are all over the map. I mean, you can get these as cheap as 20 or $30. You might even be able to find something at a, a thrift store or a Goodwill and they can range $200 or more for these really nice, fancy, you know, expensive bags. I never want to pay that much for a street photography bag. I'm just, you know, I'm looking to, to save some money and I've, I've tried two or three different kinds and they just don't really work. And this one was great. And I just, you know, I, I didn't find it at a, at a like B and H or Adorama or any sort of photography website. I just found it on Amazon and I will leave a link below. Check that out. There's a lot of different colors, very good price. I think it was just under $50 when I bought it. So really nice price. So messenger bags, camera bags, whatever you call, whatever you want to use, make sure you get a good one, make sure it's waterproof and get something you like to look at, something that you're going to wear and that you're, you know, it's going to make you look good. You know, you don't want something that, that you feel bad about yourself or you don't want to put your camera gear in. You know, we're in a, we're in a society in an age as, as people, you know, what we look like matters, what we think about ourselves matters and what we perceive other people to think about us matters, even though it probably shouldn't. But so just some factors to consider when you're looking at bags. So check out my links below. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so far to uh, hear and see more street photography topics. Otherwise, hit the streets. Keep taking photos. We'll see you soon with another video. Thanks. Bye bye.